channel so we're finally here recording my first YouTube video I'm so excited nervous it's gonna be awkward but more than anything excited to finally be doing I know you guys have been asking me for years and years to make YouTube videos and I was just I was scared honestly but finally I was like you know what you have to do it you have the time so here I am I hope you guys like it I hope you guys enjoy it I have so many ideas that I want to do for this channel yeah just my brain is like I have so many ideas but I was like if I don't post the first video I'm just never gonna do it so here I am don't forget to subscribe for sure subscribe comment and like um, whatever you want to do let me know if you guys like the video and yeah let's get started into the q a get ready with me okay so let's get started um first of all i know this is gonna be probably the most awkward video you guys ever watch because it is my first video and i'm so fucking nervous like really 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 nervous and i just kept putting it off and making excuses and Oh, I'm sick. Well, I am sick. So if I sound a little weird, it's because I'm still sick. And it's like, I'm sick. I can't record like that. I don't have my nails on. I can't record like that. Oh, I don't have good lighting. I can't record like that. And I was like, if I just keep like making excuses, I'm just never going to do it. So I was like, you know what? Just keep pushing myself. I'm like, just do it. So yeah, sorry if it's going to be awkward. It's awkward for me. It's like really, really awkward. But yeah, so like I said, we're gonna, I'm gonna be getting ready, I'm gonna be doing my makeup, and then I'm gonna be answering some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. Because I wanted my first video to be something that, for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, I already prepped my face. The foundation I'm gonna be using today is this one by Milani. I've been really, really, really loving this foundation, so yeah, let me get started. Sorry if you guys can hear, probably hear noise everywhere. The kids are in the living room. You guys can probably hear the neighbors, but oh well. So I have my phone right here and I'm gonna be going through the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. Someone asked, how did you learn how to do makeup because you're so good at it? I was never, I have never ever ever been into makeup. I was never into makeup, like I was not, one of those girls that would get ready for to go to school and stuff like that. I was never like that. I was actually really, really lazy. When I was like 17, 18, I went to get my eyebrows waxed. And the lady messed them up like really, really bad. She left them super thin and I was like, holy shit, what am I gonna do? So then, that was like eight years ago and I was like, what? I don't know. I don't know how to do makeup. I don't know anything about makeup. I started watching YouTube videos, and I used to watch them at my brother's PS3 on the TV. And well, I'm talking about eight, nine years ago. YouTube wasn't as big as it is right now, so. You couldn't really find, I was looking for eyebrow tutorials, you couldn't really find eyebrow tutorials, but a lot of um, eye makeup tutorials started coming up. So, I started watching makeup tutorials and I was like, hmm, I want to do my makeup like that, I want to get ready like that. So, I just kept watching them and watching them. I started practicing on myself. A lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, like I had nothing to do, so I was just practicing, practicing, and I got better and better and better, so the answer, well, that, this wasn't even the answer to the question, but the answer to the question was practice, 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 practice makes perfect, like, if you want to be good at something, you just need to keep practicing, practice, and practice, and practice, and practice as much as you can, so yeah that's how i got so good at it as when will you be doing a house tour my house it's not even close to being finished right now like of course i would love to do a house tour but you guys are gonna have to wait until i finish the house 
Okay, so I'm already finished with foundation. I'm gonna do concealer first. I got, I just literally just got this one from CoverGirl. And I'm gonna try it. I wanna see how I like it. So I'm gonna answer another question. Someone asked, what is another hobby you love to do besides makeup? Well, as you guys know, I love home decor like a lot. It's mainly what you guys wanna see. Whoa, it's a little bit pink. I love home decor like I just, I love it. I love it so, so, so much. I enjoy doing it so much. I love cleaning my house and looking at it when it's clean and seeing how pretty it looks. So I would say home decor is something that I enjoy doing, like decorating and stuff like that. I really, really enjoy that. Someone asked, Donde naciste? So I was born and raised in Guadalajara, Jalisco. Um, I lived there until I was, I was 11 years old when I came over here. That's why I have my big old accent. I was not born here. I did not go to school my whole life here. So there's a lot of things that I can't say, pronounce. Uh, answer another question. Someone said, what is your favorite foundation and why? Favorite lashes and also your kids are so adorable. Thank you. Yes, they are, but they are really, really annoying uh, my favorite foundation at the moment like I said it's this one the Milani one and also the Maybelline 24 hour foundation like I really really love this one but I like it more for the night when I, if I'm gonna go out during the night this is the one that I will go for and lashes honestly I don't have just one pair of favorite lashes I have like a lot like a lot of lashes that I like so I'm just blending it out I actually really like it. I thought the color was gonna be a little weird because it looked a little bit orange, but it's blending out good. Right here, I think I waited a little too long to blend it out. I don't know, it's a little bit hard to blend. All right, let me keep answering questions. I just forget about the questions. How do you make your makeup last all day? Well, I think, which is the next step I'm gonna do, I would say set your makeup like with powder. I don't know how I see a lot of girls that do their makeup foundation and everything and don't set their makeup and I just, I, me, myself, I cannot do that. Like, I cannot go anywhere without setting my face. I feel like setting your face, it's like key to make your makeup last long. And of course, setting it with a setting spray. Like, I will shower myself with a setting spray before going anywhere and just using the setting powder all over my face like I literally set my entire face so I start here under my eyes sometimes I like doing it with the video blender sometimes I like doing it with the brush it doesn't it's like the same thing to me where I'm using is the uh, what is it called the air spun this one I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this um, setting spray it's like my favorite one. It's been my favorite one for like years. It's also the one I use in my clients. This other question says, how long have you been married for? Do you guys plan on having another baby? Okay, so um, me and my husband, we've been married for eight years. Yeah, it's been eight years. And honestly, we don't want any more babies. He doesn't want more babies. I don't want more babies. I mean, you never know. You never know. But, yeah, we don't, like, we just really don't. Our kids are a lot, like, a lot. So, like I said, I'm, like, literally gonna set my entire face. And then I find that everything, like, um, bronzer and everything, it just blends way, way easier when you set your face with powder, like. When my face is set, I'm gonna do bronzer. I'm gonna bronze my face, and I'll keep answering questions. Okay, someone else asked, how old are you? And will there be any up upcoming cooking videos? How is life with the Golden Retriever? It's my dream dog. So I'm 26 years old. I turned 26 in January. Cooking videos. Uh, yes, I do want to do cooking videos. I don't like cooking. I really, really, really don't like cooking. But I have to do it. So why not? I will be doing cooking videos. I know a lot of you guys have asked me for my 
famous lentejas recipe, which it's not mine, it's my mom. And she said it last time, why are you saying it's your lenteja recipe if it's mine? Well, it's my mom's, but yeah, I wanna do that. I really wanna record that one. Oh, and about the golden retriever, most of you guys follow me on Snapchat, so I'm pretty sure you know that I uh, have a golden retriever puppy. Well, he's like seven months already, but oh my god, he's bad. His name is Benny. I don't know. He's just it's, he's just so hyper, like he's crazy. También loco me mordió mi my TV stand, and then the other day I realized que me mordió mi coffee table, which made me really really mad because I just bought it, and then he peed in the carpet three times. And oh my god, my carpet was new. I literally just bought it. So yeah, he's grounded for life right now. But he's so cute. He's like the cutest dog ever. Uh, this other question says, if you could live anywhere, would where would it be? I love living here. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm from Vegas. I live in Vegas. I'm not from here, but I live here. And I love it. I just really, really love living here. Like, I enjoy it so much. If you could live anywhere, where would you live? Answer that in the comments. I want to know. Now I'm going to contour my face a little bit. I was bronzing and now I'm going to contour it. I don't go crazy, just like a little tiny bit. And the kids are so excited. They're like, oh, my mom's going to be a YouTuber. I just thought it was so funny. Okay, another question. Let's see. Someone said, what took you so long? I've been waiting for this day to come. Hello, just kidding. But I am very happy to see you starting out your journey. Count on support from Chicago. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, that's what took me so long. I was just, I was scared. Like, I just, I was scared. Like, I was just scared. I was like, but here I am. My first video, my first probably where I put a video. I don't know how many times I'm going to keep saying this because I just, it's awkward. I'm going to do a little bit of blush. I don't go crazy on the blush though. I'm not a big fan of blush. Hopefully this video comes out good so I can post it. I'm so excited. Another question. Will you do makeup tutorials? Yes, I will be doing makeup tutorials because I know everyone knows me because of makeup. So yes, I want to do makeup tutorials. I want to do fashion hauls because I love my clothes. I want to do cleaning videos. I want to do decorating videos. I want to do... I have so many ideas, like so, so many ideas. I, I'm just so excited, like I wanna do so many things. And as you guys know, but well, if you didn't know, but I just, we just bought our first house and I'm like in love with my house and I'm so excited decorating, buying new things and you know, changing everything. So yeah, um, that's the plan. There will be maybe hair tutorials. I'm not the best at doing hair. I actually suck and I hate doing it, but I can, throwing some hair tutorials too so yeah expect a lot of things i'm so excited okay so here's another question how is it having your husband in a group how do you do it i see you fine with it i'm asking because my ex was in one and it didn't work out sometimes i just feel like i gave up too fast okay so <laughs> this is a funny question uh, people that already follow me know that my husband plays in a group he sings and plays the guitar honestly at the beginning i'm not gonna lie it was hard it was really really hard but you get used to it like you we've been together we've been for together for eight years so honestly honestly you get used to it like i still get mad i still you know like I'm not gonna lie, like, oh, it's all perfect now. No, of course not. We still argue and stuff like that. Like, it, if you really want to be with someone, you you get used to it. Like, it's, it gets better. Trust me. Trust me. I was a really, really, really jealous person. I still am, but I can control myself now. But, yeah, it's, it's not that hard. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. And this is probably gonna be weird because I'm literally used to doing my eyebrows, like, it's close to the mirror, so let's see how I can do it right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna line them, up, line them up from the bottom. And sorry, I cannot talk when I'm doing my eyebrows. <laughs> and I literally always do my eyebrows different. I don't always do this. I always do them different. But today, I decided to do it like this. 
someone asks, hey love, how, how did you become a successful makeup artist in Las Vegas? Any tips? Um, honestly, I started charging like $20. Instagram. Instagram helped a lot using hashtags. Um, if you want people to like notice your work, I think Instagram, like hashtag is the way to go. Once you start using the hashtags, people will look um, for makeup artists in your area and let's say someone's coming here and they want to get their makeup done. So they'll go on Instagram and look for the hashtag, um, I don't know, Las Vegas makeup artist and then everybody's Every makeup artist from here, from Vegas, that uses that hashtag is gonna come out. So that's how people get to know you and get to see your work and if they like it, they're probably from you. Um, what are some of your favorite places to go and things to do in Vegas? Honestly, I don't know. My husband plays in a group, so he's basically out on the weekends. I don't really get to go out. I don't go, I don't go out a lot, like, I wish I did. I wish I did, but I don't. So, don't ask me that question. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, someone asked, what's your favorite makeup brand? I don't have one makeup brand. I use a lot of things, like a lot, a lot of things. So, I can't just choose one, but I've been really, really enjoying CoverGirl. They came out with this new like glitter shadows, kind of similar to the ones from Stila, but cheaper, more affordable. So they're really, really good. You guys should definitely try them. You guys are almost finished with all the questions. Have you guys seen La Casa de Papel on Netflix? I, it's this um, show. Oh my God, I love it so much. Today, um, the third season came out and I was watching it. I watched three episodes and I wanted to keep going, but I'm like, I need to record because if I don't do it, the sun is going to go down. I really want to go back. Thank you for watching it. If you haven't seen it, I really, 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 really recommend it. I think if you look for it in English, it's called Money Haste. I can be saying it wrong, don't believe me, but I think that's what it's called. And it's really good. Like when I say Española. Which are my favorite. Um, have you guys seen El Barco? I really like El Barco. It's Española también. Or Las Chicas del Cable. Oh, that was really good too. El internado, that was a really good one too. All of this that I'm mentioning, they're Españolas. Like, they're all Spanish. I think they have subtitles. Or something they're translated in English. I feel weird getting ready here because even though I have a makeup room and I have a vanity, I actually have two vanities. One for me, one for my clients. I get ready in my room. Now, I'm gonna clean up my eyebrows and let me see let me just answer the last question. The last question that I have. Question cracks me up. Ever since um, I read it, I was like, <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. This girl said, why does hell these follows you and not me? Hello, just kidding. At what age did you start getting into makeup? Can't wait for the video. Honestly, I have no idea what hell these follows me. I have no idea. I have One thing I realized, <clears throat> he followed me. Um, it was so funny. Like I don't know, I don't know how I realized he followed me. But I don't know why he follows me, but he follows me. So yeah, that's funny. Um, oh wait, oh she said um, how old I was when I started doing makeup. I was 18 when I started learning how to do makeup. I was probably like 19 when I started doing makeup, like professionally doing makeup. It's funny because I would post my pictures. On Instagram and then people start asking me oh can you do my makeup do you make up for do you do makeup for people and stuff like that and I did it like I would only do my makeup on me but I was like hmm let me um, start practicing on my friends and see if I actually if I can actually do it on other people well guess what I was able to do it on other people and I enjoyed it way way more doing it on other people than myself Till this day, I do. I much rather do someone else's makeup than my makeup. So yeah, I was really little. Now, this part, I really can't talk, so. And remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Don't ever expect your eyebrows to look exactly the same. My eyebrows never look exactly the same. So the same concealer that I use to clean out my eyebrows is like the base that I use kind of for my eyeshadow. 
not so nervous anymore. I was at the beginning, I was shaking. I was literally shaking. And I feel a little bit better now. Hopefully this video comes out good, like changuitos, because I really want to post it. My eyebrows are done. I really they look good. You guys tell me in the comments what you would like to see. Okay, so the idea I have, según yo, I want to try to do two videos a week. So I want to do one beauty related, beauty, fashion, I don't know, maybe a makeup tutorial, a hair tutorial, or a haul, or something like that, something related to beauty. And then I want to do another one about home, cleaning, cooking, decorating, I don't know, something like that. So that's what I want to do too, because I want to do both things, because I enjoy both things. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea, if you guys would like to see stuff like that. So I'm just blending this color, it's like a yellowish color, so I'm just going to go with the darker color and I'm gonna blend it out with the other brush that I was using. I'm not gonna do anything crazy today because this is basically what I do all the time. I actually had this YouTube channel, I, I've had it for years and I actually used to post videos back then like I don't know like five six years ago but I deleted them all. I think they were so bad. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. A lot of people would ask me to to do makeup classes but honestly I'm not good at teaching like I do not know how to teach I learn better by watching just watching what you're doing that's how I learned I wouldn't even hear what people were saying I would just watch and learn I think I'm gonna leave it like that and I think I'm going to use the glitters that I was telling you guys about Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, the palette that I'm using, it's this one. I cannot say the name at all. So, just <laughs> pretty sure by just looking at you, you guys know which one it is. I'm just grabbing the same concealer brush that I used for um, my eyebrows, cleaning up my eyebrows, and adding a little bit of concealer under my lash line so the eyeshadows can stick better. All right, so now it's the time when I set my face. I like setting my face before I do mascara and eyelashes and all of that because if I do my mascara first and then I set my face, then my mascara gets messed up or gets all over my eyelid or something. Okay, so now it's the time that I do my highlight. Now I'm gonna set my face. Favorite setting spray, Urban Decay All Nighter. But I have the little tiny bottle because I like it better. I have the big one, but then I just fill it up, keep filling this one up because I really like how little it is and how easy it is to just. So now, here is when I do my mascara and apply my lashes. I just curl my eyelashes a little bit. I have these lashes right here, and every time I wear them, People ask me what lashes are you wearing and I have no idea because they're in this like clear box that has no name. So sorry about that, I have no idea what lashes they are but I really like them. Okay now I'm gonna do my bottom mascara. Alright, time to do my lips now. Okay so I'm gonna be using this lipstick from Maybelline. My favorite one, as you can tell. <laughs> now I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss. Okay, so we're finished. This is the final look. I know I didn't go into much detail telling you guys exactly what I was doing because it was the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get to subscribe, comment, and like. <laughs> Um, but more than anything, subscribe if you want to um, keep up with me and seeing um, all the other videos that I'm planning on posting and recording for you guys. Comment and let me know what you guys want to see more. And let me know about 
what I told you guys about doing two videos a week trying to do one beauty related and one home related I know they're going to get better I know I'm gonna get better I know I'm gonna stop being nervous and awkward so just aguanteme poquito que se me quitan los nervios because I really am nervous so yeah anyways thank you so much for watching Mwah.